In today's video, guys, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about the buy two, get one free going on a Target for video games. Let's get started. What is going on, guys? Jim here with a video today, and it is an awesome, very warm Monday outside, even though it should be warm in November, but that's besides the point. Today, we're going to talk about games and, and the buy two, get one free at Target going on right now, and let's start off with this. All right, guys, so we are back, and key things to know, the buy two, get one free is most games ends November 12th, and a deal happens a few times a year. It works online and in store, so that's pretty much some key things to know real quick. So first, we're going to talk about Nintendo exclusives. Nintendo exclusives like Super Smash Brothers, Paper Mario, Origami King, and uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 are games that will not count for the buy two, get one free. So if you're wondering if Nintendo Switch games work, I'm sorry it's not going to work because they are always excluded, and this one is it's not even showing any of them on sale. If you want the Nintendo games like Zelda or Mario, you're gonna have to look for another deal coming probably sometime around Black Friday or after. All right, so let's talk about Sony exclusives. This is an interesting one, guys, because a lot of Sony games are included. Like, let's look at this list. Returnal, Ratchet and Clank Ripped Apart, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Gran Turismo 7, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, and Final Fantasy 7 Remake Integrate. Uh, those count. But for some odd reason, The Last of Us Part 1 doesn't count, and Horizon Forbidden West doesn't count. Now, I did this pretty thoroughly to make sure these are the games that are the big ones that people are probably looking for. So I can kind of go deeper into why I think Horizon is not going to count, because first of all, Horizon just came out this year, and so did Last of Us, and I think that's what they're doing. So yeah, pretty much you're not going to see those on sale. That's why they had that big X over them. So up next, we're going to talk about pre-orders. A lot of people like to do pre-orders when it comes to Target's Buy 2, Get 1 Free, because sometimes they're glitched in there, or sometimes they just they actually count. So these are the ones that count. Resident Evil 4 Remake counts. Playtale Requiem counts. Oolong counts. And for some odd reason, Cosmic Shake of SpongeBob, the crazy Target $250 edition, if you really want that, counts. There's nothing else that really counts. And we're going to talk about that next. All right, so I got some pretty bad news if you're looking for these kind of pre-orders. So if you're looking for Need for Speed Unbound or Dead Space or even God of War Ragnarok, which obviously wouldn't count because it's a Sony exclusive, or the new Sonic Frontiers that's actually doing pretty well with reviews. These games do not count. So a game from December, January, November, and November, which is this week for these two, they don't count. So sadly, if you're looking for these pre-orders, you're out of luck. You got to deal with the other ones. I mean, Resident Evil is good and all, but the other games, besides Wulong, there's not much you can do with the pre-orders this time around. So yes, be careful with the pre-orders and make sure you don't buy them by accident. This is a very important part when it comes to buy two, get one free. And I cannot stress this enough. Mix and match your games very carefully. Now, I know a lot of people I've seen at the store before try to find games asking if I was... Uh, they want to know about the games. Is this a good one? Is that a good one? And they got two games. They're trying to find a third one. And they're like trying to pick like a $20 game out. And I'm like, look, you got a $60 game and a $60 game. You don't want to get a $20 game. You're not getting most of your value out of it. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is make sure you have the same price games with games in your that you're getting. For example, Ghost of Tsushima goes with Gotham Knights and Call of Duty. And pretty pretty cool how Gotham Knights and Call of Duty count as well. So that's a good one. Ghost of Tsushima, Gotham Knights, and Call of Duty is a great one. They're all 70 a piece. So you're getting a $70 game for free. However, don't do this route. They have a Mario game that counts, even though it's a Ubisoft, not just a Nintendo game itself. Mario Rabbits, uh, Sparks of Hope. If you got that, and you got Soul Hackers too, which is good, you know, a good mix. But the third game, uh, I hate to say this, but the Aladdin Lion King Jungle Book bundle isn't worth getting with that because it's a $20 game. So you might want to look for another game that's $60. So find a game that's $60 to replace the Disney game there. And put the Disney one if you want to get it with $20 games. So pretty much make sure you have the same price games going along with the other price games. That's pretty much what I mean. Okay, guys, so you're probably wondering the pros and cons to finalize this video. Reasons you should do this deal, the pros. Best way to get the newer release games like Gotham Knights and Call of Duty. Yes, if you want those two games, they're probably not going to be on sale on Black Friday, especially Call of Duty. Gotham Knights is kind of uh, up in the air with that. But yes, if you want those two games, you can find like a, another game for $70. That's a good deal. So yeah, that, that's the pro. Another pro is the deal isn't that common, so it might be a good idea to give this one a chance. So if you're looking for something on Black Friday in particular and you think it's going to be on sale, you might want to look into this buy two, get one free because the games are buy two, get one free. But there is some cons to that. We'll get to that in a minute. A uh, good amount of Sony exclusives to pick from. Very surprising. The only two we saw were uh, Horizon, uh, Forbidden West, and Last of Us Part 1 Remake. That's the only ones that don't count. So that is pretty cool to know. So let's talk about the cons. Reasons you should not do this deal, aka it's a con. Black Friday is coming up very soon. When I say that, I mean that. Black Friday is literally in a couple of weeks or two weeks, two and a half weeks. 
you're going to see games that are like 60 to 20 or 10 or something crazy. We don't know what stores have up their sleeves. We don't know if GameStop, Target, Best Buy, and Walmart are going to have crazy deals. We don't know. So these games are, it's very up in the air with that. So that leads me to my next, my next con. Games are not cheap in general. You're paying 60, 60 and free or 70, 70 and free or 40, 40 and free. You get the picture. If you bought three $60 games, you're paying 180 usually. You get buy two, get one free, you're paying 120 for three of them. AKA, they're only going to be $40 a piece. You're not getting them for 30 or 20 like Black Friday if you're thinking that. Up next, there's not a lot of games to pick from. Target's always been the site with not a lot of games to pick from. It's not like GameStop and it's also not like Best Buy, but... There is good games on this list, but there isn't a lot of games, especially on Nintendo Switch. They're really lacking with that. And speaking of the Switch, no Switch exclusives at all that I could find. Very upset to see that. We usually see Paper Mario or Donkey Kong or Zelda here and there, but they're taking them away this time. And, and it's, it's upsetting, but it, 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 it's what Target wants to do with their deal. And the last con is deals change without any notice and now let me tell you what i mean by that if someone is getting a deal on a say a, a pre-order and it just keeps getting pre-ordered and pre-ordered they're probably going to take that down or they'll switch prices overnight or they'll take certain games away it, it sucks it really sucks and i don't like when they do that so if you want to avoid that uh be careful and make sure you check over the prices make sure you're actually getting the free minus 59.99 when you buy a $60 game and another one. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button, like this video, comment down below if you are taking part in this sale, and also let me know which games you're going to pick up. I hope all these pointers helped you guys out today. Make sure I did it as thorough as possible for you guys because I want to make sure that the best deal for everyone. All right, and in conclusion, pretty much, guys, buy two, get one free at Target. It's good and it's bad. It depends. If you're waiting for Black Friday, you might want to make, wait, wait for the cheaper prices. If, you, if you're okay with the buy two, get one free, and you want to get some games now, it's it's good. But honestly, this is more geared towards like Gotham Knights and Call of Duty because they're probably not going to be on sale too much on Black Friday. Versus a bunch of like games that are kind of like earlier in the year, they're probably going to be like 20 by default uh, on Black Friday. But that that's just besides the point. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Sales and deposit, and most of all, stay safe. Peace out, guys.